Greetings Spartan and welcome to the UNSC Infinity War Game Simulation Training Program. In this series of videos you will be briefed on the equipment that will be available to you within the War Game Simulator, and we are going to begin with a weapon that every Spartan should be thoroughly familiar with, the Assault Rifle. The MA-5D Individual Combat Weapon System is the iconic workhorse weapon of the UNSC. It is a human weapon that is developed by Miss Raya Armory and is available immediately upon beginning the simulation at Spartan Rank 1. The MA-5 series of assault rifles are air-cooled, gas-operated bullpup weapons designed for lethal close-quarters combat. Since the introduction of the MA-37 and 2437, they have remained the primary service rifles for all branches of the UNSC because they are capable of withstanding the harshness of nearly any environment and surviving near indefinite use in the field. The MA-5 series has existed for over a century, so it's no surprise that it has undergone a few iterations over the years. One of the more interesting of these was the MA-5B. It featured a much higher cyclic rate of fire as well as a very large 60-round magazine, but it did lack in both stopping power and accuracy, so its role was much better filled by the M7 submachine gun. There was also a carbine variant of the MA-5B known as the MA-5K. It was lighter and more maneuverable than the other weapons in the series, and it saw major use by Spartan 3s during the Battle of Onyx. The next variant, the MA-5C, was developed more similarly to the original MA-37. It featured a much smaller magazine and rate of fire than the MA-5B, but with a higher degree of accuracy and stopping power. Now this design proved to be successful and Miss Raya further enhanced it to create the MA-5D, which was officially introduced after the Human Covenant War. Although rumors do still persist that early productions or even prototypes of the weapon existed during the war. The MA-5D fires 7.62 by 51 mm full metal jacket armor-piercing rounds at a rate of 600 rounds per minute. These rounds are fed from a 32-round magazine that can be reloaded in 1.7 seconds, but this reload time is increased slightly if the weapon is empty because a new round needs to be chambered. The assault rifle can remove the shielding of a Spartan 4 with 8 rounds, and then kill them with only 5 more rounds. When combined with a melee attack, only 6 rounds are needed to kill, and if your target has an overshield, you will need to hit them with up to 26 rounds to remove only the overshield. When combined with a damage boost, the assault rifle can kill a fully shielded Spartan in only 7 total rounds, and remove a full overshield with only 12. Despite being the weakest of the automatic weapons, the assault rifle is by far the most consistent and it has the best range, which makes it a very well-rounded weapon for close quarters combat. Just keep your crosshair on the target and hold the trigger down. As long as you can maintain your accuracy, you will neutralize most enemies rather quickly. In cases where your opponent is a little further away, you should fire in bursts of 3-5 to five rounds to ensure that your shots connect with some semblance of consistency. This can work out to about the edge of your motion sensor, but enemies with ranged weapons will give you a fair amount of trouble at this range, so be careful when attempting this. As for opponents beyond the reaches of your motion sensor, do not even attempt to engage them. You will just waste ammunition and maybe even alert an otherwise ignorant enemy to your presence. Stick to close range where the assault rifle is at its most effective, because overextending is the worst thing you can do with an automatic weapon. If you try to be too aggressive or arrogant, you'll quickly find yourself respawning. When you are using the assault rifle, you need to understand that you will be at a disadvantage. The default motion sensor extends to 15 meters beyond your weapon's optimal range, so if you try to approach enemies head-on, chances are they are going to beat you. Instead, you should try to flank and outmaneuver your foes, try attacking from angles where they won't be able to put fire on you from a distance, and don't forget that a well-placed grenade can force them behind cover. But on maps with long sightlines where it will be harder to surprise your opponents, you can stay with your squad mates and provide close range support while your team handles anything that is at a distance. Staying with your team is never a bad thing, and it's one of the best ways to utilize the close range power of this weapon. Now we will give you an example of a loadout to use with the assault rifle. For this setup, we are going to combine a well-rounded kit with a high degree of subterfuge to keep our enemies guessing. 
The first thing we'll need is a good backup weapon, and the Magnum is a solid pairing for any automatic primary. It is headshot capable, and it comes equipped with a 2x scope to make engaging enemies at distances beyond the assault rifle's range possible. Now, we don't recommend using it to directly engage ranged opponents unless you are forced to, but you can use it to help your team put fire on distant targets or quickly finish off a weakened foe once you empty your assault rifle. Next, we are going to equip Fragmentation Grenades. These grenades are very reliable in close quarters since you can ricochet them off of most surfaces and around corners. You can use them to lead an assault, cover a retreat, or finish off a wounded opponent hiding behind cover. These grenades are useful in almost any situation, and they complement any weapon. When it comes to armor abilities, most Spartans tend to use the Jetpack or Thruster Pack with the Assault Rifle we are instead going to use the Hologram. This is a very underrated ability that has a variety of creative uses. You can use it to check if an area is safe, or to lure enemies from their advantageous positions where they will be easier to take down. When using an assault rifle, one of your biggest threats will be a bolt shot, but if you use the Hologram properly, you can trick an opponent into wasting their shot and then kill them while they're unable to retaliate. But, perhaps the greatest power of the hologram is that it creates a blip on the motion sensor. Use the hologram to create marks on the motion sensor to toy with your opponents. One of the best ways to do this is to make them think that you are trying to run away. If you need to escape a dire situation, duck behind cover and send your hologram in the direction that you would have gone. With any luck, your opponent will give chase and fall right into your trap. For our tactical package, we will be taking mobility. When using an automatic weapon, being able to move around the map quickly is very beneficial. This will not only let you escape undesirable situations, but also take advantage of more obscure routes when trying to flank opponents. But be careful, sprinting is a great way to be overly aggressive and accidentally get yourself into trouble. If you would rather have another package, armor ability efficiency is a good pairing with the hologram. And our final pick for this loadout is a great complement to the hologram. We will be equipping the Stealth Support Upgrade. Stealth prevents you from appearing bright red on Promethean Vision, it makes your footsteps quieter, and it makes your assassinations go faster. But here is the best part. If you face an opponent with Promethean Vision, your hologram will be highlighted, but you will not. A lot of Spartans become overly reliant on Promethean Vision, using it almost like a crutch, but the combination of Stealth and Hologram will throw a big wrench into their plans. Now, if you're facing opponents that are not using Promethean Vision, feel free to swap this for any other support upgrade. Overall, the Assault Rifle is a powerful and consistent close quarters weapon. If you can keep your crosshair on your target, most opponents will fall before they can do any real damage. But you need to stick with close quarters combat. Overextension is the quickest way to fail with this weapon. But there is a reason the MA5 series has served the UNSC for over a century. Its rugged and resilient design saw us through the Insurrection as well as the Covenant War. If you're looking for a weapon that you can trust, the MA5D is as reliable as it is iconic. Thank you for watching this episode of my Halo 4 Weapon Guides. If you enjoyed it, please check out my other videos, and be sure to stay tuned for more to come. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.